What's up, world? Welcome to today's video. Hope you're having a fantastic Hunter day. Hunter and I match today. Uh, no, we don't. You do. Look what you're wearing and what I'm wearing. Blue and black. Um, today's Saturday morning. We're about to go to the gym. I'll take the microphone off. I don't know if I'm covering up where the microphone is. All right, it's Saturday morning, and we're going to meet Bill at the gym, and then we're going to get brunch. Montgomery's about to take a nap. Rebecca just said, I am not working out. Don't you pull that passy out of your mouth. Don't you do it. You're thinking about it. He's very sleepy. So cute. He's looking at you. Well, hello. Good morning. What do you want? Is that your friend? Oh, he's so shy. Don't want to lay like that. Here we go. <laughs> All done with that morning session. That was a good workout. Um, I'm glad I finally got to work out with Bill again for the first time in a while. Uh, we grew up working out together every morning at five in the morning, so. Uh, me, Ashley, and Bill all worked out together at 5 in the morning ever since I was in like middle school so it just feels good to do like a really hard workout with them and like know we're all going through the same pain because that's how it was back in the day and that's how it still is like although so many things have changed like I'm married I have a kid back then I was like a little skinny middle schooler but it's still nice to um just hit it with the fam yeah hit it with the fam um now that workout we're going to talk a little about that I didn't record the first part because I was supposed to record. Yeah, Rebecca was supposed to record them, and Monty was sleeping or trying not to sleep. And um, I, the first one was four strict handstand push-up, eight calorie row, twelve GHG. The calorie row and GHG were just like a steady thing, and then try to do unbroken fast strict handstand push-ups because those are a weakness for me. So I did all four unbroken every time, relatively fast. I didn't have to rest at all, and I got five rounds on that. And then, well, I was like one or two GHGs away from finishing five rounds in the eight minutes. And then we did the 10 wall walk, 100 total bar, and then a thousand meter row for time. And the 10 wall walks were smooth. They were like, all right, I had to rest a little. I can't just do 10 straight. And But I'm still practicing them, even though the open's over, because they're going to come back. And then even if they don't come back, like quarterfinal, it's going to be like handstand walk or something. So just keep practicing my shoulder crappiness and then 100 total bars I did 20 sets of five I just got in a rhythm where I do five five I do five I spin around the other side I do five and then I chalk and then I do five five spin chalk five spin chalk five spin chalk blah 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 and then um, well no I did ten I, I, I messed that all up sorry I would do five turn around chalk and then five and then five turn around chalk and five. I don't know it don't matter I did fives and chalk spin whatever and then a thousand meter row at the end I felt like my abs were so sore and my grip was so sore from the total bars it was hard to row because I, like, I couldn't keep myself upright and I couldn't breathe correctly and my grip was shot from the total bars so that just made the row really hard felt uncomfortable the whole time there in the last hundred meters I kicked it in it was like I was holding like a 155 pace the whole time and then the last hundred kick it in at like 135 140 pace on the 500 uh, pace so that's how that workout went overall good and now we're going to go to a little breakfast shop called the Famous Toastery. It's 0.2 miles away. I've been talking for like three minutes, so Bill and Ashley are already there probably. Hey, you sleeping? Yes. So we got Bill and Ashley here. Haven't seen Bill in a while. He hurt his meniscus and... He's been rehabbing it. Nursing. So. Yeah. Are we good? How was your back. workout today? It was good. You did all right, man. Collaborate. Well, we did all right. Collaborative effort. So, kept the knee out of this situation. So. I smile on you. Yummy smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I tell if something's healthy too is if it has lots of color. Mm -hmm. ah, oh my goodness! 
He bites down. He left you. I know. What's up, Stinky? Yo, yo, yo. I'll give him a kiss. Nah. We're home from the gym, showered up. Montgomery took a nap. Showered he, up. What? Showered up. <laughs> That's a word. And Montgomery took a nap, changed him, feed him, and he's good to go now. He's a happy baby again. Ow. We're going to go to Rebecca's parents later yeah. and do a weightlifting session. <laughs> I hear you, Moosey. I hear you. Oh, I took his hands away. I took his hands away. Yeah. He looks so blurred. Mwah. That's better. I can see that boy. Oh. She did 22.2 yesterday, which was the 155 deadlifts. My hamstrings, but I'm proud of myself that it's my hamstrings and not my back. I mean, my other back is sore, but you know, I was thinking about ordering some ab mats <laughs> mm. for our home gym. <laughs> Just like do sit ups. I like ab mats. I remember one of the workouts was like a running workout and I like ran down the driveway. Mm. That's so funny. I don't like, I've never remembered that until just now. We're doing five sets of three snatch, five sets of three clean, and five sets of three front squat. We are at Rebecca's parents, and we're gonna do a weightlifting session. Since we do cardio Monday through Friday in the morning time, and then I do the CrossFit class at night, we do, we do strength at the CrossFit classes, but Rebecca isn't getting any weightlifting in, and it would be beneficial for me to get an extra session in throughout the week. So Saturday nights are gonna become our weightlifting night. We're gonna to try to do some kind of snatch, clean and jerk, and squat every Saturday night for a, uh, just like a strength session. Saying, you know, put your chest over the bar doesn't mean that this needs to go forward. So just because your chest is over the bar, your knees are still like going back. So as you're standing up, it's this. Not necessarily, you know, a bunch of that. Because that last one you were really like, did you feel yourself kind of yeah. going backwards? Yeah. So just make your shoulders and chest more so above the bar. And when you're standing up, your knees are getting straighter and straighter until you get here. And then, you know, obviously you triple extension and go under. The thing I was trying to tell Rebecca, even if she only gets to do one weightlifting session a week, that's uh, every Saturday night. That's 52 weightlifting sessions across the year. So if you break those up into four or six or eight week blocks of cycles and you do it once a week consistently, that's 52 more cycles than you would have got if you just didn't do it consistently. So it's gonna pay off. A solid weightlifting session in the books. The five by three snatch, I did my first set at 135, second set at 145, and then I did my last three sets at 155. That's a good working weight for me where I can still do good form, but it feels like I have some weight on the bar as well. And it's a likely weight that you see in CrossFit workouts. Um, the cleans, I did one set at 155, and then I did the next four sets at 185. Same principle behind that. It's a good working weight work for me where I can do good technique. And it's a common weight you see in CrossFit, that 185 on any kind of clean style. And um, I forgot what I was talking about now that you walked in. I'm just that stunning. And um, 
Oh yeah, so what I was gonna say, it's our first weightlifting session in the books today. You don't, I don't, like we were talking about going heavier on certain lifts like the squat and the clean, but if it's our first session in so long, we don't want to overwork anything that hasn't been worked in a while. So just like five sets of three and you're squatting on every movement, it's like some muscle fatigue you gotta build back up in your system. So doing those weights where you can move them good, but there's still some weight on the bar. And um, so I already talked about the snatch, I already talked about the cleans. The front squats, I did 235. Um, honestly, after the all the squat snatches and uh, cleans, I just wanted a manageable weight for me. And I was thinking about doing 275 for the five sets of three. And I did my first set at 235 and I was like, oof, I'm staying there. So um, it did feel kind of heavy. We also did 22.2 yesterday, so nervous system from all those deadlifts may be shot a little more than we expect, but it's all about the consistency. We're gonna make this a every Saturday night thing. So, um, I don't know, I like it. Picasso, I like it. When the hips go down to the ground, there's no power to get up. So you want to keep those hips level, and you want to make sure that, you know, that weight, that arm stays in tight on the waist. They weren't like close to being dry. Montgomery. Hey, baby. <laughs> it's very prestigious. We made it home, and um, now we are making some. Uh -uh. I'm making some cinnamon rolls. I have no part of this. I'm making some cinnamon rolls anything. for dessert. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm sorry. That was so mean of mom. We did it like three times, so. <laughs> was that the bill collector? Your student loans are not paid off. <laughs> Ew. Alright, we are all home and settled down now. Montgomery just went to sleep. To finish off today's video, I wanted to read some scripture because I haven't read anything in the last couple videos. So we are going to finish off today's video with Mark 4, verses 1 through 9. We've already covered Mark uh, 1 through 3. We've already covered Mark 1 through 3 in previous videos. So, um, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Mark 4 verses 1 and 2, Jesus, it just says that Jesus is on a boat and he's preaching amongst people who are on the land. Um, I guess he's pretty close to the shore so they can hear him, but um, that's it. And then verses 3 through 9, the rest of it is just um, something that Jesus is saying whenever he's preaching. He is talking about, he says, listen, behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path and the birds came and devoured it. And then it goes around and it said it, it gives you three scenarios where like the seed fell in different places and it either sprung up or it didn't. And then at the very end, he says, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. So what I think he's talking about here is um, he can tell you all this stuff. But if you're not listening and interpreting it and taking it in and using it in your daily life then everything he's telling you isn't going to matter all right the three scenarios he goes is the seed fell on the rocky ground where it did not have much soil and it immediately sprung up since it had no depth of soil and when the sun rose it was scorched and since it had not rooted it withered away other seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew and choked it up and yielded no grain and other seeds fell into a good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing, yielding 30-fold and 60-fold and 100-fold. And he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. So what I am what I think he's talking about here is, um, just like I would compare it to the seed being the preaching that Jesus is giving. And whatever kind of soil the seed lands in is how the person interprets it and applies that to their life so just not just listening but actually doing as well so that's what we're going to end the video with i uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't seen the last one it's in the description don't forget to like and subscribe peace